Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. This is a very re heavily requested video for 5M and it's in, on how to install Simple Trainer and Lambda Menu. Um, these are both client-side trainers, which means you install these in your own 5M directory, but they're the two main used trainers. The Lambda menu allows you to do the pressing N to have voice chat and game and stuff with other players who have the trainer. And Simple Trainer is your typical F3 trainer where you can configure everything. Kind of the same as F1, but a little bit more uh, old school when it comes to how you do things. But they both have d different unique features. So I recommend installing both. They're quite easy to install as well. So all you're going to have to do is press download on both of these pages and it will automatically download the zip files for you. Once you download those zip files, you're going to have them opened up in here, and you can see I have them both opened on the left hand or right hand side here. Then you're going to go to your 5M shortcut or whatever your 5M EXE jar is. You're going to right click, go to open file location. It will open a folder either in uh, like your own folder if you installed it on like a desktop or something, or it will open in like uh, the C disk uh, users program files, wherever that is. You want to click on 5M application data and they're gonna go ahead and open that up and you'll be in this folder. Your 5M um, EXE may be in here already and you won't have to click 5M application data, it just depends on how your install went. Once you're in here, if you don't have a plugins folder already, because I know I'm gonna be asked this, if you don't have one that says plugins, all you have to do is right click, press create new folder, and name it plugins. That's all you have to do, it's that easy. Just name it plugins, write how it is here, and then you're gonna open that a folder up. And you can see I already have it installed, but I'm gonna go through this again. I'm not gonna replace my installed, I'm just gonna tell you how to do it. So in this folder, in the plugins folder in your 5M, you need to install the lambda menu.asi like I have here. You need to install trainerv.asi and trainerv.ini into this folder. Those are the three files you need in here. Once you do this, you can see I have both trainerv and trainerv.ini um, and asi. You can close this. You don't need any of those other files. And then once you have the lambda menu.asi in here, you can go back to your main applications data folder, which is in here. Then you're going to drag in the im-config.xml into your main 5M directory. So this one right here, not in any plugins folder or anything, your main 5M directory. Then you can go ahead and close that. That's all you have to do to install the trainer. I'm not doing it myself on this video because I already have it installed and it would override my already settings and setup for it. So I didn't want to override it, but I did want to show you just drag it in. It's that simple. Then you can go ahead and exit out of that and go if you have a 5M server yourself. This is where we're going to go now. You're going to open your server data folder. You can skip this part to the part where I actually start the game and show it off if you don't have your own 5M server, but I know a lot of people watching this probably have their own 5M server, so I'm going to go through this again. You go to your server.cfg file inside of your server data folder, edit it with Notepad++ or Notepad, and just make sure that your um, use script hook, which is sv under script hook uh, loud, is turned to 1. It's by default 0. Make it one, or your trainer will not work. If you want to install a server side trainer, you can do that separately and you won't need to enable this. But for client side trainers, you need script hooked allowed to be turned to one. Then go ahead and start your server or just start your 5M if you um, are just starting your 5M itself. And we're gonna join and make sure it all worked out perfectly fine. So we're gonna do that now. And here we go, we're loading in. In the meantime, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we have 5M videos every other day um, where we teach you how to do things and everything. So hopefully this comes in handy and helps a lot of you who are having problems and everything. So here we go, we're logging into our 5M. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect to our server, which is our localhost server. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and double click and log into that. Here we go, and you can see I have 5PD installed. Yes, this does work with 5PD. No, there is no issues or known bug reports between trainers and 5PD. All right, so once you are in the server, and of course I spawn down on a random beach down here, to test if this worked for you, you can press F3, and you can see this main menu open. You can navigate it using your arrow keys up and down and enter to go to the next menu, backspace to close, or you can use your number pad, uh, numbers eight to, um, and press five to go in, zero to go back and not close. So you can do this to spawn cars. If you go to our emergencies and let's say we spawn a police cruiser here, you can see we spawned a police cruiser. And of course the beach I am on has high tide and it's gonna 
go ahead and flood everything, which is fun. Um, but another thing we can do with Lambda Trainer in F1, so you can see I open this. This does not work with arrow keys. You must use your number pad for the Lambda Trainer over here. You can see online players if there's anybody else online. You can heal yourself. Now, F1's a little easier for newer players to get used to, like give all weapons, remove all weapons, all this, where F3 requires you to do a little bit more. Like you can still do the give all weapons and stuff, but F3 also allows you to like select individual ones, no reload. Even th they're pretty much do the exact same things but um, a little bit different. Now, another cool feature of Lambda Menu is you can press F2, and then you have no clip, and you can actually no clip yourself around. So Q and Z move you up and down, A and D rotates you left and right, W and S moves you forward and back, and Shift changes the speed you go. So you can go extremely fast and go all the way across the map and glitch out the world. I don't recommend doing this, by the way, um, because you will have texture loss and it will cause a lot of problems. Um, but... Overall, you can do this, and hopefully I won't fall through the floor now, but if I press F2, yay, there we go, I'm all the way over here now. Um, so you can do all this, it's super easy, you get options like super jump in both of them, so you can turn on like F1, and then you can do like a uh, fast super jump, and then I have super jump and stuff. So you get all those cool features you would in a uh, normal uh, GTA trainer and like single player and stuff, and you have it inside of your 5M server. So, a lot of you may be wondering, that's how you do this. Hopefully this helps you out. I'm not going to kill anybody. I'm just going to shoot up people's cars and make everybody go crazy and stuff. Um, if you have any questions on how to install this or if you run into any issues, make sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'm happy to help you out.